We'll see if Jack can get more opportunity because there haven't been a ton of waves in the last half hour. No, that was a very dry run, the last heat. Jack Freestone setting up a big section, a lofty frontside air reverse attempt that he almost had to kick off the heat against Medina and Kale Walsh. Let's see if we can get a quicker start to this one. Medina up on the left. Going for the alley-oop. He'll get that one. Comboing it up with a frontside fin throw. Just one maneuver complete there. And it didn't work that time. As we go back to the alley-oop rotation. Yeah, well, that was pretty clean. And then... Rip curl finals and lower trestles. Where the fifth seeds will begin against the fourth seeds. Will be crowning a champion on that same day. If Medina is still world number one at that point, he'd be the last man standing. Oh, it's going to be an amazing final. And, uh, you know, Medina would be a very dangerous person to have sitting there waiting for a best of three grand finale. <laughs> you know, he hasn't won the event at, a, at the CT level, but he won it at the 10,000 level when the QS would stop at lower trestles. I think he beat Ace Bucket in the final one year. Got past Glenn Micro Hall. Actually, I think it was Micro in the final, Ace in the semifinals. And that was kind of the beginning of the Micro Surf Academy. As we have the wild card up. Big section to throw a big full rotation. Kale Walsh coming extremely close to a massive score. What uh, Mick and Taj have done post career. That's right. This is what Freestone. A combo, just a speedy little two-turn combo, and then Gabriel Medina bugs. Yeah, well, Medina sets it up nicely here. It's a big, long float, and he just comes unstuck. And incredible, that last section is really causing so much trouble on the rights and the lefts, Joe. And this was on the split. So Kale Walsh on the split with Medina went for just a massive frontside air, did the splits on the landing. That thing looked painful. Let's see if he gets another shot here. Kale Walsh rolling in. He's already had two big rotation attempts. That one just a speed flow, layback jam. Kale Walsh turns in a fun combination. Yeah, well, that was a much more orthodox approach. It looked like he was winding up for a big air, but he ended up, you know, getting a couple of really good moves in a great snap, float. And uh, so a two turn combo, he needed that. This last move here, that was a great layback snap. And Seating round continues. Gabriel Medina with some speed on a stretched out left hand. Well, there's the alley-oop. A tough transition, but Gabriel controls it. There's that messy little end section. Stays on his feet to combo up a bigger rotator than he had on the takeoff of his first wave. How technical this was to land it on such a steep wall, Bugs. Yeah, they'll like this one, Joe. This was a difficult maneuver. And uh, he's really landing there. That's a vertical wall. And he just nearly overcooks it. He's, uh, he's just got that gymnastic balance about him. And great to see him use that efficiently in this heat. Yeah, I don't think you'll get it, Joe. Starts showing all the boils. He got a nice little tap to finish. And a nice backhand snap from Jack Freestone. Two-turn combination, laying low to get the completion. Live action, beautiful left at Strickland Bay. Front side carve, there's the snap off the lip. Medina looking great so far. Nice forehand hack, there's the float. Four major turns down the line, the best wave of the heat so far. After the alley-oop, Medina finds himself in a great rhythm with the left here at Strickland Bay. Yeah, so this is, his, this is his second wave that we're still waiting for scores. And, and Joe, as you said, four major maneuvers. He comes with this tricky, boily last section, and it just uh, throws up a, a little ledge for him. Australia's Andy King as his coach. And it's working well. First, I thought it was just for the Australian leg, but they might have bigger plans for this entire season. Well, stay tuned for that. But Medina was happy to build a relationship with Andy King. They had an instant connection. So we were stoked to see it with a little bit more energy. And Medina's on the loose. With second priority, he'll take on this right. 
He's got the speed. He probably wants to check out a ramp. There it is. Backhand air reverse. And that section is just crazy. Airs will see made on that end section. Kale's going for it now. He'll get this one. After two incompletes, Kale cleans that one up with a nice rotation to put pressure on Jack Freestone. Back to Kale's wave here, Bugs. Uh, not as big as his attempts earlier, but super clean. Yeah, way clean. And it wasn't, and it wasn't the end section. So he was able to set it up. And, uh, you know, it was able to get, go into it with a little bit more control, a little slower, grabs the rail, just really made sure of this one. And, uh, and, and it was the landing was a lot softer. And it was really cool technique. His air attempts before, he was going no grab. This time he got the front side grab, which always looks insane with style. And you know, pretty much up there with like Medina's second wave. And here's Kyle Walsh again. You know he's going to try and improve on that four. Don't think he's done it so far. He kind of lost a little bit of control there. And he's going to, going to milk this one. <laughs> Just throwing down a classic little layback carve, a, a little inside punt just to have some fun on that end section. But yeah, it was a tiny wave, pretty tough to perform on. Got some free surfs with the world's best at North Point mm. and at the box. So he's seen a lot of the top 34 the last few weeks. Here comes Jack Freestone needing that 6.07 backwash section. He still controls it. Big float on the backhand, but the thing will shut down. Yeah, you can see how Medina was scratching as hard as he can to get out there. Looks like he'll have another opportunity. Nice, glassy left-hander off the bottom and off the top of the layback hack. Drills it again in the pocket. Tons of momentum. Throws another big snap. Going for a drift. He'll end up losing control. And, um, you know, it was, again, it was the, the one behind was probably the better wave that Huge alley-oop from Gabriel Medina into a frontside air reverse to throw down the biggest combination of the morning. As soon as we start talking about the challenge of the conditions here at Strickland Bay, let's watch this thing again, Bugs. Oh, this is just an excitement. You know, Medina is just this combo of, you know, the, the variety that he shows here is phenomenal. He's already won the heat, and uh, now he's just putting his exclamation mark on it. Incredible performance by Gabriel Medina. He's got that amazing read to pull this maneuver off on the craziest sections. When you're not even predicting that it's gonna happen, he'll throw one even bigger than you expect. But then to land with this kind of control, another tail throw into the beach to go the opposite direction. It's one thing to do the same air twice. And you know, we'll throw down a 17 plus combined total to take a huge win.